if you have a patient that doesn't have no molars, what we need to have, it's a good view of this. This is right and this is left, uppers and lowers. We don't have no molars on lower right and we don't have no molars on upper left. So he's requesting for implants. What shall we do? The first thing that we need to tell the patient is that the ridge of bone, this is our ridge, and this is the sinus. Remember the sinus, there's no bone there. And we only have this ridge. So if we work with implants, how do you know if you need to do a sinus lift or it could be, be an intracrestal? Well, you can do intracrestal. The only problem is that you're gonna start thinking about short implants. And the problem with short implants is that you'll be having short implants that is going to support huge crowns. You're going to support huge crowns. Is that good? No, because you're going to have a relation two to one. And we don't want that. We want it the other way, two to one. So based on this condition, what we do is that we perform a sinus lift. We do a wall here, a lateral approach, and we, do, we, we open a wall there and then later on we place bone grafting. Bone grafting could be bovine or could be human, FDA is sterilized and also we place implants like this. We place implants long and also good uh, with implants and we wait at least eight months, six to eight months. Afterwards, we'll be having a relation two to one, two to one of that. This is a successful story. Sinus lift, lateral approach. This is the way that it works. Later on, I'll explain you the lowers. Thank you.